What's up everybody, it's Charles. Today we're talking about five different ways you can market your mobile mechanic business. Really, there's a million ways. And really, you can do this for any business, but this one's kind of centered around being a mobile mechanic, mobile technician. And that's a space that I actually think is super cool and not one that a lot of people are doing right now. There are some that are doing it and doing an amazing job. My friend Faye, she said she's booked out for like a month and she does no marketing at all. So uh, I guess like marketing tip zero, you gotta be good because if you suck, all the marketing advice in the world from the best marketers on the planet ain't gonna do you any good. So let's get into it. Number one is probably the easiest one and should not cost you anything. If it costs you any money, it's not gonna be very much. And that's make a Facebook page, make a YouTube page, make an Instagram account, a Twitter account, a Google account, uh, Angie's List, Yelp, all the review sites out there, right? Make a page on all of them. Have a presence on all of them. Start taking your phone and posting. Click, hey, look what I'm doing. Isn't this awesome? I'm fixing this car on out of my mobile workstation, right? You need to let people know that mobile mechanics are a thing. I promise you that if you asked 50 people, 35 to 45 would have no idea that they could call someone up and say, hey, I need an oil change. Can you come to my house and do it? It's not common. So you need to get the message out there that it's just a thing. Then what you can start to do is tailor your information that you're putting out there to your specialty. So for example, if I were to do this, this would be a VW and Audi mobile mechanic. I wouldn't necessarily be promoting that I do oil changes because not a fan of doing oil changes, but maybe it's mobile diagnostic. Maybe it's mobile modification. Maybe I'll come put coilovers on your car and slam it to the ground, right? Whatever your specialty is, focus your page on that and make sure you follow the rules of these different platforms, right? YouTube's a video platform, make videos. Instagram is a picture and video platform make videos and pictures, make sure you're doing Instagram stories, right? Tune up your Facebook account, make sure on Yelp you're there and you have a picture of your business with the address. And guys, the people that have business website, oh yeah, of course, make sure you have a website too. And if you have a website and a business, whether you have a physical location or whether you're mobile and you don't have your hours and your phone number and your address on the home page where I can go, oh, there's their phone number, you're doing it wrong. Make sure you tune all that stuff up and have it dialed in. And then of course, be posting on it. Number two segues nicely from number one and that's joining Facebook groups. Now, join your local Facebook groups, right? You live in Nowheresville, North Carolina. Well, I'm gonna be on the Nowheresville, North Carolina Chamber of Commerce page. I'm going to be on the buy and sell page. I'm going to be on all the pages, right? That are, are my local, my area. In addition to that, I'm going to go onto the pages for my cars that I'm working on. Again, we'll use me as an example. I am on all the VW and Audi pages that I can find. I'm on the local ones. There's like six local ones for the small area that I live in. I'm on all of them. Now what I'm not doing, and what you better not do, because you're probably gonna just get kicked out of the group anyway, is every day, hey guys, I'm a mobile technician. I wanna come into your house and fix your car, okay? You can do that every once in a while and make sure it's cool with the admins, but what you're there for is you're there to help, right? You're there when someone says, hey, does anybody know a towing company? Oh yeah, I got one, it's my buddy John, here's his phone number, right? Or does anybody know the best place to get parts? Well, I get all my parts for my customers at XYZ. And you can be very subtle with this marketing and not blow up their feed with, hey everybody, I'm the coolest uh, mobile mechanic ever. And you begin to slowly develop that relationship with the group. And then of course, if they think they need someone with mobile service, you're probably gonna be their go-to as well. Also, don't forget that maybe there's an opportunity with that page. So I belong to the RDU VW Audi page. Maybe there's opportunity to sponsor that page and actually be able to buy advertising for that page. I don't know if pages do that or not, but I think it's actually a really good idea. In fact, if anybody wants to sponsor the Humble Mechanic Facebook group page, uh, let me know, because maybe there's opportunity for that. But that would be a good way for you to get your name out there with that group in a way that the admins all approve of. So join every single one that you can find and be an active participant. But I'm telling you, if you just promote your page and nothing else, you're gonna get kicked out pretty fast. I know, I usually give people one shot, and then if they keep going with their nonsensical business in the group, I give them the boot. Number three is kind of the same thing, but in real life. You need to be that community member in real life as well. So 
chamber of commerce meetings, uh, if there's a brewery that's having a charity event, even if it's not car related, go wear your shirt, right? I would be wearing this shirt everywhere I went if I were a mobile mechanic. And it would say on the back, the world's coolest mobile mechanic. It probably wouldn't say that, but you know, use your, your elevator pitch that you have and put it on the back so that people see it and go, oh, I didn't know mobile mechanics were actually a thing. Go to car meets, go to cars and coffee, do all the car things in your area. The whole idea of marketing is to tell the story about your company so that people know it's an option, right? The marketing, good marketing is gonna lead to good sales. And you have to make sure that people know about you and know it's even a thing. Tell your story with the lens of your Instagram account or on this Facebook group or in real life. Make sure you have business cards with you. I'm the worst about business cards. Make sure you have business cards with you so you can hand them out to people. Most of the time they go in the pocket then right in the trash but you need to try, those are all like things you gotta do. I would even say consider having your own car meet. If there's no cars and coffee in your area, start your own. The cool thing about starting your own is you get to be the title sponsor. So it can be cars and coffee sponsored by Jim's Mobile Mechanic Service or whatever your business is. Think about those kind of things. You want to be part of a digital community and because you're a business that has a mobile service, right? You want to be part of that local and just a little bit beyond community. Out of all of these, number four is probably the one that people are going to like the least because it's doing free work, and that's teach. Hold car clinics. You're a mobile shop. Bring your mobile shop somewhere and teach a car clinic. New drivers, office people, people that aren't car people. You know, we as car enthusiasts, we get this mindset of everyone's a car enthusiast. Well, I can tell you my wife doesn't really care much about cars except for a very small segment of cars. But when it comes to what she's driving, she doesn't care. She just wants it to run right. And so many people are like that. Oh, she also doesn't want to get, you know, taken advantage of if she had to bring it somewhere for service. So think about the office building that might have one or two car enthusiasts, but 25 other people that don't care squat about their car other than it gets me to and from where I have to go. If you take your mobile shop to that office building on Friday afternoon, and of course, you know, talk to management first, right? Don't just show up. But if you schedule this car clinic at that office building on Friday afternoon, bring some snacks and get the office together and walk them through what you do for an oil change or what you do for a tire rotation. You don't need to be selling your business here. They see the banner on the back of your trailer or on the side of your car. You need to be teaching them about cars. You need to give them a little bit of confidence, one, that you know what the hell you're talking about, and two, that they can understand a few things so they don't have to worry so much anyway about getting taken advantage of. And then of course, right, do the smart things like leave them with a little care package that has a tire pressure gauge and a sticker and a keychain with all your business on it. Those little old school marketing knickknacky junk that I everybody loves, I don't care for, I usually give my stuff away, but that's the kind of stuff you wanna leave them with as they're walking away from your trailer. Here, thanks for coming, here, thanks for coming, here, thanks for coming. That can be such a soft sell. You don't even need to sell, it's so soft. You're there to educate not to sell them anything. The one, taking it to the office building, guys, I can't tell you, that would be huge. What a cool breakup in the day for most office workers. And it's huge for you because you're getting access to people that would not otherwise look for a mobile mechanic. They're gonna go to the dealer because they bought the car there. Or they're gonna go somewhere else because their brother knows a guy that's real good. But you wanna be another option for someone. All right, and finally, number five, you know, we have so many amazing tools at our disposal. The marketing power of this right here, the cell phone, is mind boggling, right? I wouldn't be able to sit here and do what I do if it weren't for this kind of technology. But don't let that get in the way of the old school stuff like asking your customers for referrals. Hey, Ms. Johnson, I know I did a great job on your car today. I hope you're happy with everything. Um, do you have like three or four people you could pass my business card on to? That would really help me make sure that I'm able to do this for you and I don't have to go back to a, a working as a technician at a shop. Ask. It's so simple. And if they say no, say, all right, well, can I leave you with a couple of cards in case you change your mind? Or if they say no, you might not want them as your customer anyway. But the simple ask. Ask for the referral. Ask for the review on Yelp. 
ask for the review on Google. Guys, sometimes we as customers, we don't think, oh, I should leave a Yelp review unless we're mad, right? When we're mad, first thing we think of, I can't wait to go to Facebook and leave a bad review. Um, okay, well, that's cool, and you do that if you need to, but we need to tell our customers, hey, this is helpful to me. This is what I need to keep my business growing to make sure that what I'm doing now is something I'm always going to be able to do for you. And if you're doing a good job and people like you and ultimately you're fixing cars correctly, not everybody's going to do it. But dude, if you could get 80%, 60%, 25% of your customers to leave you an awesome review, that's 25% of your customer base that would probably not have done it to begin with until you made them mad. So ask, it's so simple. Send follow-up emails, have tracking, right? There's so, there's so much, millions of ways you can market this, but don't forget about the simple face-to-face, -face, thank you, Mr. Customer, I really appreciate you inviting me over to fix your car. Would you mind telling a few people about my business or leaving a review on Yelp? And I'll give you one more that's super easy and I just kind of thought of it in my head. Make sure if you're doing service, you have an oil change sticker, put your business on it. I'd never want a customer, right? If I was a mobile mechanic, I'd never want a customer to have to hunt down my phone number. I would want my check engine lights on. Let me call Charles. Oh, there's his number right there. Boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Hey, Charles, my check engine lights on. When can you come look at it? That simple. License plate frames, stickers, whatever, whatever you can think of, whatever works for your business, keychains, right? All of it. Keychains, right? Whatever works for your business. Uh, do that. Don't be afraid to spend a bit of money on marketing. Don't be afraid to spend a bit of money on stuff like this. If that's ultimately, it's about telling your story. It's about getting your name out there. It's getting people to understand that this is even an option. And I think that's probably going to be your biggest struggle. Heck, go to shops and tell them, hey, if you guys ever get super backed up, call me and let me know. Maybe we can work out a deal. Don't be afraid to do any of that stuff. If it works, awesome. If it doesn't work, shelve it. You can always come back to it later and try again. So awesome question, fun topic. I love talking about it. We can actually keep the conversation going down in the comments section if you have any other really cool, unique marketing ideas for a mobile mechanic or anybody really, because most of it works for anything. Drop it down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again next time.